Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV Travel Quest. Hi, I'm Rob. I'm Sherry. And we're from RV Travel Quest. And today for RV Travel Buddy and RV Talk Radio, we're going to install the new RV lock. Now we're going to review this, but we're going to do things a little different today. What are we going to do different? So we opened the box, taken a look at all the parts, read the instructions, and it seems to be a very simple installation. So to prove that point, instead of Rob doing the installation, I'm going to do the installation. So uh, in the video, it shows how easy it is to put the RV lock on your uh, RV. And the person doing it was using a electric screwdriver. We're going to do it with a regular screwdriver, which most people have. So I want to show you what we got in the box. When this you one. order, when you order the lock, not only do you get a lock and a remote, but since you're ordering from us, you get two remotes. So in your box, you'll have instructions, the lock itself, and another remote. So I'll give you two remotes. So all the screws, nuts and bolts that you need to do this are all right here in the box. So we're going to give it a try and Sherry's going to do the work. Yep. Wish me luck. <laughs> there we go. Okay. so. We have our old door lock here, and the first thing I need to do is remove the old door lock. In the video, they used a power drill. I'm just using a regular Phillips head screwdriver. So uh, there's four screws on the inside that I'm going to remove. Okay, so here I go. I'm removing the screws. Should we mention to everybody that you're left-handed? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Okay, the four screws are removed, so now I'm just going to carefully remove the plate. And there's two more screws that are off the end here, and I'm going to remove those. I'm being careful and holding on to the actual door handle so this doesn't just fall when I pull it out. Okay, take the plate off. Now I'm going to carefully slide this out here. That's it, eh? That's it. So now it's removed. So the next step here is I'm going to clean it first, so I'm going to, uh, they suggest using a rubbing alcohol or some kind of cleanser and get it all cleaned um, before we would put the new one in. So what are you doing now? I am just cleaning, so we've got a nice clean surface here to put, to install the new lock in. And what are you cleaning it with? I am just using a cotton ball and some rubbing alcohol. Doing both sides. That should give us a nice clean surface. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to install the new lock. In our little kit here we have the actual lock itself. On both sides, inside and outside. You get your little key fob, your remote, and if you order through RV Travel Buddy, Travel Buddy, then you will get a second one free. And they also provide the additional hardware. So all of the hardware that I removed out of the old lock, you'll get new hardware to replace it. So you'll get a new uh, door plate and new screws. Okay, so this is our unit. We're going to pull the back off. 
we're going to start with the outside of the door piece first. Okay. And one thing that uh, the deadbolt was out, so we actually used the key and put it in to make it easier for installation. It is a pretty snug fit. So one of the things they recommend is this wire here, you got to be careful not to pinch it. So I'm just reaching this through and guiding it through and then I'm going to carefully Alright. Okay, so that's a, it was a very snug fit. Took, took a little bit of muscle to get it in there, but it's in there pretty good and tight. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to put the inside in All right. piece on. I just removed the key so it doesn't get in the way. Okay. okay, so we have our wire from the front side of the RV here and we have the wire on the back side and we need to plug those in. And when we do that we should hear a beep. We want to make sure we snaps in did beep. So now we're just going to carefully put our wires in there. And we're going to line our holes up. Okay, so I put my screws in here. I still haven't cinched them down tight because I want to make sure that the, the little plate at the end of the door fits properly and there's no alignment problems. So I line that up. I'm just going to put these two screws in here. Here again, I'm not going to cinch it down until I get both screws in. Okay, so I got the end plate done. I'm now going to go back to my ones here and just cinch these down. Okay, so I'm just tightening these last screws up. Just a word of caution when you're lining this plate up to put it on, make sure that your lock is in the right position. There is a little um, post that you have to line it up with and make sure that your door latch is in the right position as well. Um, we did put it on once. I had to undo it a little bit because this got stuck open. So this was our second uh, attempt to do this. Everything looks like it's working fine. So right now I'm just tightening these last screws up, making sure I got an, a nice tight flush mount on both sides. I don't want to tighten them too tight. I do not want to strip out any of the screws, but I want to make sure I have that nice snug fit. And from both sides, feels really good. We want to make sure our lock is working. You can see the deadbolt here coming in and out. Oh yeah. And our handle's working good. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to close it and make sure that everything lines up with the door properly. So now I'm just going to take make sure everything is lined up properly. And everything fits here. Let's close the door. Make sure we can open it. Everything looks good having any issues with catching or anything. We've got a nice flush mount here. Nice solid. Nothing appears to be loose. So now I think our next step is we're going to program our remote. Okay so our next thing we need to do is we're going to sync the remotes to the lock here itself. So we're turning the on up button to the on position. The, the fob learn I'm just using a paper click and I'm going to push it and I should hear a beep, short beep. Then I take my fob and push the lock button until I hear a long beep. And that then indicates that it has sync, it's in sync. So now if we push the lock button again, we can actually see the deadbolt coming out and it's in the lock position. If I unlock it, we can see the deadbolt going back in and you'll see the lock move. Cool. And that's how you program your uh, key fob. Cool. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to program our code that we want to use 
for keyless entry here. Gotcha. Uh, the program starts with it's automatically programmed with the code 1234 and so we want to change that to whatever desired code we use. So that's going to be our next step. Okay, so the default on this key is the code is 1234. So we're going to change it to whatever desired code that we want to choose. The code can be up to eight digits long. Okay, so now I'm going to test to make everything, to make sure everything is working. Um, so I'm going to enter my code. And I'm making sure that it is the remote did the deadbolt came out, which it did. And we'll unlock it. And sure enough, it worked. The deadbolt is out. So let's go ahead and close it, and I'm going to test it with the VOD this time. So lock it. I can hear it going. Here's the beep. It's locked. And we're going to test the unlock. I hear it working. And ta-da! It worked. So I must say that the installation was pretty simple. Um, if I could do it, anybody can do it. I am not a handyman in any way. Um, there were a couple little, it took us a couple t tries to get it to program correctly and just making sure that alignment was done on the installation. But other than that, it was really simple programming. So it looks like uh, Sherry got our remote keyless entry installed with r very little problem. What do you think? I was quite impressed because I don't do anything like that at all so if I could do it anyone can do it. Now well, we want to remind you folks that we do have a free drawing for your own RV lock that's going to happen on September 25th on a Thursday on RV Talk Radio and the instructions of how to enter the drawing will be announced on the show. So we've proven that Anybody can put it in. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't think we really had any trouble whatsoever. Um, the remote's going to be very nice. I think what I really like about it is it really improves the security of our RV. And when I'm not here and Sherry's alone, it definitely gives me a peace of mind. So I want to thank RV Locks for allowing us to review the, the new keyless entry. And... It's proven to be exactly what they said, and I hope you folks get an opportunity to get one. Also, want to remind you that you can go to RV Travel Buddy, <laughs> and there's under Product Review, and you can save fifty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents if you buy the RV Lock through our website. So, once again, I'm Rob Scribner. I'm Sherry Scribner. And we're from RV Travel Quest, and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Thank you for viewing our videos, and please make sure you subscribe. We also have many other videos that enjoy. Just click on the links. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.